Hi, hi everybody. I was not able to make any videos for some period of time for some incredible reasons. Nowadays I'm becoming YouTube I make it all right and hereafter I'm going to continue with. And today we are going to see preposition in detail. As we know, preposition is one of the important part of uh, language and uh, we must learn it in the beginning itself because every sentence has, has uh, uh, prepositions and uh, it connects all the words of the sentences. It connects uh, noun, pronoun, verbs and so on. So it is very important to learn it in the beginning itself. And now let us see one by one. The first preposition is at. At is used to refer to specific time of the sentences. For example, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and my brother go to his office at 10.30 every day. Only to talk about the specific timing we are using it. If they change the meaning, preposition also getting changed. And secondly, it is used to mention the locations in the places. For example, Priya is living in America at Boston. We are using at for the location Boston and for the place America we are using in. And her friend is living in India at Mumbai. For the location Mumbai we are using at. For the place India we are using in. And thirdly we are using at to point out something, to point out something in particular. For example, she is weak at maths. Here we are pointing out maths subject by using at. And her mother is good at cooking. We are pointing out cooking by using at. And this is how we are using at in English. And now let us see the next preposition in. In preposition is used to refer to places where we are in the present right now and where we were and where we will be and in all the tenses. All the preposition, prepositions are common for all the tenses. And uh, the example, the examples are I'm in London, Priyanka is in Australia. And secondly, we are using yin for months and years. For an example, Lisa family go to Uti in May every year and summer vacation starts in April and my mother was born in 1965 Punita started her amro business in 2020 and thirdly we are, we are using it we are using it to talk about something else kept inside somewhere. For example, my books are in the bag. The red pen is in the box. My mobile is in my packet. And fourthly, we are using yin to talk about locations. Markets, banks, and playgrounds, labs, these are all the locations in, in, in any places. For example, all the students are in the lab. Her mother is in the market. Pray 
is in the back. And the next preposition is on. On preposition is used to talk about dates and days. For example, I go to church on Sundays. And Priya, uh, Priya called me to library on Fridays. India got independence on 15th August 1947. Secondly, we are using on to refer to something is on the surface. For an example, all the books are on the table and some toys are on the bed. Thirdly, we are using on to talk about what to talk about what is going on. For example, she is on leave. That means leave is going on, still going on. We are pointing out by using on preposition. And they are on two. What is going on? Two is going on. And to start something, switch on the AC. Turn on the computer and, and also we are using on to talk about topics. We generally say, I'm going to talk on, talk about pollution. We can also say, I'm going to talk on pollution. And uh, the next preposition is for. For is used to talk about reasons, purpose, I mean reasons and purpose. For example, Priyanka is waiting for you. Ranveer is preparing dinner for his wife. For whom are you waiting? For what are you crying? And secondly, we are using for to express duration of an action. That means time period. For seconds, for minutes, for hours, for days, for weeks, for months, for years. For an example, I did not know what to do when I saw an accident for a second. And she took leave for two days. And uh, my auntie family is living in America for 10 years. And the next preposition is by. By is used to do describe traveling. Traveling by vehicles. For an example, I go to office by bike. She went to picnic with her friends by cycle and uh, they went to Andaman Nicobar Island by flight. So whenever we are talking about traveling, we are using by for vehicles and whenever we are inside, I mean when we are talking about Sitting inside the vehicle, they should use the in. I'm in the car, in the flight, like that. And uh, and the next preposition is with. With is used to talk about connections between the people and the things. For example, I go for walking with my mother every day. And. Uh, Priyanka went to cinema theatre with her friends. Secondly, with this used with something. For example, wash your face with face wash. With what? With something like face wash, soap, and so on. 
and uh, don't beat school children with stick with what they're saying with stick and the next preposition preposition is from from is used to or refer to a place where someone or something starts or originates for an example where are you coming from i'm coming from mumbai and she got a gift from her best friend and the next preposition is since it refers to a period since refers to a period starting at a particular point in the past and continuing till now for an example it has been raining since yesterday evening Adora has been studying since morning 4 o'clock and they have been wasting time since last week and the next preposition is between between is between it refers to something or uh, uh something or someone is there in the middle of to person or to things or to places for an example i'm sitting between alia and lisa and the next example is there's no quarrel between priyanka and nick and the next preposition is among Among is used to refer to someone or something is there in the middle of minimum three person or things or places. For an example, Dora is sitting among ten girls. And the next example is Maharashtra is located among Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. Karnataka and Gujarat When it comes to prepositions we should learn it thoroughly we should know in detail to make use of it in the sentences so we should have, we should learn it many times until we become too good in it it should not be learned once or twice just figuring it out does it help us to get a thorough knowledge in it so we have to learn it as many number of times as possible to get it into a permanent memory i will come up with the rest of the preposition in the next video keep learning and doing a lot of practice